Hi, and thanks for joining us for yet another edition of Money TV. I'm Don Belarge, and so glad you could be with us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, the most sweeping and broad-reaching financial reform bill in nearly 75 years hit the desk of the president this week, and he signed it into law. In the last two years, we, the taxpayers, have had to bail out banks, car companies, insurance companies, and stoic Wall Street financial firms. The Obama administration would like you to believe that all the problems currently experienced in the economy are the direct result of Wall Street and no one else. Now, while it's true Wall Street did make a mess of things, the government gave them carte blanche to do it. The repeal of the glass de Gaulle Act in 1999 and the effective removal of leverage limits for Wall Street financial institutions in 2004 basically put the Wall Street bull in the economy china shop. So what do we get from this sweeping financial overhaul? Well, one of the good things is stopping banks from trading with their own money. This is a practice known on Wall Street as proprietary trading. The provision would also ban firms from betting against securities that they sell to their clients. The bill also makes permanent the $250,000 insurance for FDIC-insured banks and credit unions, which had been raised from the old $100,000 figure. There are some goofy things in this bill as well, however. The bill gives shareholders of public corporations a non-binding vote on executive pay and retirement packages. Now, the average investor can't outvote large holders like corporate insiders, hedge and mutual funds. This provision sounds good, but it does nothing. Then, as with any government overhaul or intervention of anything, we get some new government bureaucracy to go along with it. A new federal insurance office is now going to be within the Treasury Department to monitor the insurance industry and make recommendations. Well, it's nothing more than another government, government agency spending money, salaries, and top heavy government benefits to do more studies. And how about the much ballyhooed assault on the too big to fail category of banking? Again, more stuff that sounds good but does nothing. The financial reform bill requires, you guessed it, more studies. The law reads that the chairman of the newly created council shall carry out a study of the economic impact of possible financial services regulatory limitations to estimate the benefits and costs on the efficiency of capital markets on the financial sector and on national economic growth. This is nothing more than governmental passing of the buck and the blame at a great cost to taxpayers. The recession of the last two years has been an excuse to try to change everything that the American system has worked, albeit a few bumps in the road, better than any other financial system in the history of the world. Now, lawmakers, of course, are all smiles in the photo ops, but we, the voters, may be the ones snickering come November. Now, you don't have to wait for November for this. It's a toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world you're watching the program, 888-259-4449. Toll-free number to call to get free information about the featured guests we'll be talking about during the rest of the program. Again, when you call, 888-259-4449. Be sure to ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. Again, call us at 888-259-4449. You can text Money TV to 46800 or go 800. You can visit us at MoneyTV.net. And please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.